Situated on the back roads of a small town deep in the heart of the United States of America was a quaint little antique shop owned by a friendly old man named Mr. Higgins. The shop was well stocked with baubles and knickknacks of all kinds. It was more of a museum than a store. There was a story behind every collectible in the shop. Most of the items had special meaning to Mr. Higgins. His nephew's tricycle may have been a little rusty here and there, but every squeak it made was music to Mr. Higgins' ears. There was the violin, handmade by his father, just 20 minutes before a speeding streetcar would take his life. And then there was Sparkles. Smuggled from Germany just after WW2, Sparkles was a very special doll. Crafted with the highest quality fabric, Sparkles was hand-stitched by an expert seamstress. Every detail of his fine porcelain face, from his mischievous smile to the twinkle in his powder blue eyes, was painted with care by Frankfurt's top artists. Sparkles was truly a masterpiece. Sparkles was like a son to Mr. Higgins. I wish you were alive. I wish you could play with me, he said. I would be the happiest man in all the land. Mr. Higgins was working late tonight, preparing the shop for the annual Memorial Day sale, when all of a sudden, a gust of cold wind swept through an open window. And that wind shot across the room towards an old book sitting next to Sparkles. The pages came to a halt on a chapter entitled Das Clown. Mr. Higgins was puzzled. He'd never seen this book before. Mr. Higgins picked up the book and began reading aloud to Sparkles. Das Clown. Hmm. I do believe that means the clown. Mr. Higgins continued. On a dark night, deep in the woods, when electricity rips through black sky, and demon-raising words fill the air, and evil, more deadly than any virus, will be unleashed. The words became unfamiliar to Mr. Higgins, written in a language he could not identify. But that didn't stop him from reading on. Sosai prakti thresjern brando mikir shiltavep suskin rashong lavoi. In a thin cloud of smoke, Sparkles had vanished. How queer, said Mr. Higgins. Who are you calling queer? said a voice nearby. <coughs> exclaimed Mr. Higgins. And Mr. Higgins' aged body toppled to the ground with a thud. Sparkles, now full of life, scurried away. Pretty said Sparkles, admiring the fine details of the medieval replica axe. Mr. Higgins laid still. The jolt to his brittle bones left him momentarily paralyzed, but he continued to hang on. His memory will live on. Deputy Harlan was driving by and noticed the lights were on in Mr. Higgins' shop. The two were good friends. Sons of bitches, grunted Deputy Harlan, before taking a moment of silence for his old chum. The deputy heard something. Come on out, you sick-ass murdering fuck, yelled the deputy. Deputy Harlan searched the entire store and was certain Whoever had done this ungodly deed was no longer around. He proceeded to call for an ambulance to clean up the mess. If only he knew what was creeping up behind him. Hello, said Sparkles. Sparkles was lifeless once again. 
as bubblegum pink blood spilled from his body to the floor. Moments later, the paramedics arrived. Deputy Holland did his best to explain what he deduced was a supernatural occurrence of some kind. He reassured them that the situation was totally under control. Screamed one paramedic attempting to get out of the front door. But Sparkled was fast. And within the slow blink of an eye, the paramedics were launched into eternity. But Deputy Holland was fast too. He was fast to surrender, hoping the clown would spare his life. Deputy Harlan made a peace offering to Sparkles. And at that very moment, something between the two felt so right. So the two tied the knot and lived happily ever after.